Hello there. This is Miss Marks and this is my assistant Snail. We both welcome you on your favorite show Math for Juniors. Hello. Ah, oh, this toy house is really beautiful. Thanks. I have constructed it with the help of this design instruction. This paper tells the way to construct this toy house. Show me. That's interesting. You know, just like the construction of toy house, there is a specific way to construct geometrical figures too. Really, Miss Max? Yes, Snail. Um, when will you tell us more about this? Right away, Snail. We will study the construction of parallelograms today. Oh, that soon? Let me come out of my playful mood. I'm sure you all are set now. So, let's go to the virtual world and learn about constructing parallelograms. Let's begin this module with an interesting illustration. Johnny, while heading towards his school assembly, noticed the geometrical designs on the building of his school. He wondered how such parallelograms are constructed. Let's learn along with Johnny the methods to construct parallelograms in this module where we learn to Construct parallelogram when its adjacent sides and one angle is given When its adjacent sides and a diagonal is given And when its adjacent sides and altitude are given Let's explore various ways of constructing parallelograms with Johnny Wow! Johnny is all set to do constructions with his geometrical tools. Here is the first construction. When two adjacent sides and one angle of a parallelogram are given. First of all, draw side AB of length 5.5 cm. Then at point A, draw an angle A measuring 60 degrees. So, angle XAB is 60 degrees. Now, cut off AD is equal to 3.3 cm on AX. Since opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal in length. So, with B as center and radius equal to 3.3 cm, draw an arc as shown. Now, draw another arc intersecting this arc with D as the center and radius equal to 5.5 cm. Let this point of intersection be C. Finally, join the point B with C and C with D. Required parallelogram ABCD is drawn. Now, Johnny wonders, can he construct a parallelogram when measurements of the adjacent sides and a diagonal is given instead of an angle? Let's see. Let's draw a parallelogram with sides of length 5 cm and 3 cm respectively and diagonal measuring 7 cm. Let's see how Johnny does it. First, draw the side of length 5 cm with the help of the ruler. Let's call it PQ. Next, with P as center, draw an arc of radius 7 cm as shown on screen. Draw another arc intersecting this arc from point Q as center and radius 3 cm. Let the point of intersection be R. So, three vertices P, Q and R of parallelogram are in place. For the fourth vertex S, first draw an arc of radius 3 cm from point P. Draw another arc from R as center and radius 5 cm. Join the line segments S, P and 
एस आर पी आर एंड क्यू आर सो पैरोलोग्राम पी क्यू आर एस इज डिजायर्ड पैरोलोग्राम आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन टू आस्क रियली देन गो अहेड एंड आस्क मिस मार्क्स वॉट विल वी डू इफ वी डोंट नो द एंगल और डायगनल वी जस्ट नो देंथ ऑफ द साइड कैन वी कंस्ट्रक्ट द पैरोलोग्राम इन दैट केस Just the knowledge of sides will not give us the unique parallelogram. You need one more parameter. Oh, I'm getting confused again. You don't need to worry. Virtual world will clear your doubts. Let's go and find out which other parameter apart from the diagonal and angle can be used to construct a parallelogram. Now, Johnny has two parallelograms. Both have different heights. What if he wants to make a parallelogram if its two sides and height is given? So he wonders, can height be another parameter for constructing a parallelogram along with two given sides? Well, the answer is yes. Let's see how. We need to draw a parallelogram with sides four and five centimeter. and the height between the sides being 3.5 cm for this we first draw a horizontal line bc measuring 5 cm draw two perpendicular lines pq and xy passing through any two points u and t along bc cut the perpendiculars at s and r such that su is equal to rt is equal to 3.5 cm join rs and extend Cut the line RS at A by an arc of radius 4 cm from B. Hence BA is equal to 4 cm. From A cut the line RS at D by an arc of radius 5 cm. Hence, AD is equal to five centimeter. ABCD is the required parallelogram. Welcome back to the real world. So, Snail, was that interesting? Um, yes. Why are you so dull? Where has your energy disappeared? Uh, I need to eat. How many times do I need to tell you no food during these sessions? Now focus back on math. Um, but I thought the topic is over as I already know how to construct parallelograms. We need three measurements to construct it. Well, Snail, it's possible to construct it even with less than three measurements under some conditions. Um, you mean we have more to learn? Of course. and so it's time for another trip to virtual world let's challenge our brains is it possible or not possible to construct a parallelogram if less than 3 measurements are given well the answer is yes but then in such a scenario firstly the parallelogram must have all the sides equal like in rhombus Secondly, all the angles are equal as in case of rectangle. When these conditions are met, then only two measurements will be needed. And finally, if all sides and angles are equal as in case of square, then only one measurement is required. 
Thus, such properties of special parallelograms make their construction possible even with less than three measurements. Back to the real world! Miss Marx, see, how's it? Oh, that's good. Huh, I wish I could have made it a little bigger. Then increase its size. Um, but for that, I will have to redraw it. Well, there's an easier way. Huh? Oh, my little round structured snail, it's do you no time. So let's enter that section. Do you know that there is an instrument that can trace any figure and redraw it in bigger or smaller size? Really? What is its name? It's called Pantograph. It's an instrument connected in the form of parallelograms. It's designed in a way that if you trace an image with it, the movement in one pen through which you are tracing the image will produce identical movements in the second pen and thus an identical or similar image is automatically drawn. Wow, that's fantastic! This device comes handy in translating motion in controlled manner. That's why they are used as a type of motion guide for a large and small objects. Now time for the memory jog friends. Let's take a quick recap that will refresh your memory about all that we have learnt. Pay attention. In this module we have learnt to construct a parallelogram with at least three measurements given. Be it two sides, a diagonal length, an angle or altitude. Construction of special parallelograms is possible even with less than three given measurements. So Snail, was this fun? Yeah, quite interesting. Now can I go and um, eat something, um, please, or I will die of hunger. <laughs> Snail will never change, huh? Okay, go. But before that, say bye to our friends at least, huh? Bye-bye. <laughs>